Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Welcome back to my channel. Guess what? My refrigerator is here. I'm so excited about it, so let's check it out. Okay, here it is. I went with the Bouge RV 23 quart portable refrigerator. And as you know, I'm very particular about the space I use in my van. And the refrigerator that I got to replace my Alpacool had to fit in the exact same place and it had to be the exact same size as my other one. So this is exactly the same size, 12 by 12 by 22. That's the dimensions of the outside of this refrigerator and it fits perfectly in the space that I have allotted to keep my fridge right behind the front passenger seat. The inside of this unit, its dimensions are nine by nine by 13, which are also the same as the Alpacool C20. So overall, this is a perfect fit for me. What I really like is the fact that this lid is flush. And even though I really did like my Alpacool C20, and you remember it had the, the raised lid, it was concave on the inside so you could stack food. That worked out great and I really liked it. But this one has the flush lid on it so I can utilize this as a table. I have a piece of leather that I'm gonna put on here and I'm gonna actually utilize this as a table. It'll have a dual purpose. Obviously it'll be my refrigerator, but I'm also going to use it as uh, a little table. But anyhow, let's uh, move on here. So I like this chain, keeps the, the lid door up nice there and it has this chart. So this chart basically lets us know uh, what temperatures we should keep whatever foods that we're bringing in this refrigerator. So I think that's pretty handy. Let's check out uh, the manual here and see what comes with this refrigerator. So we have the AC cord, the DC cord, we have two extra little rubber feet and the manual itself. So four corners of this refrigerator, each one has a little rubber foot. It's gonna help if you have a uh, like a wood floor in your van or wherever you're gonna keep this unit, it, it'll keep it from sliding, so that's really good. So here are the extra rubber feet. Here is the wall cord, and as you can see, I have the, um, the DC cord plugged in here. I also wanna mention that this DC cord here is 10 feet long. So in the event that your power source is not near your refrigerator, you will be able to uh, access it rather easily as long as it's within the 10 feet. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's talk about how much this weighs, 22 pounds, so it says, but you know what, it seems kind of light to me, so I don't know about that, but we'll see. It also has a two-year warranty for the parts and the compressor, so that's really great. And it has two settings, so let's talk about the settings and how this thing actually works. I have it plugged in here to my Jackery, which uh, is at 90%, and just having it plugged in, you can see it's uh, just pulling one watt. So power button, hold it for three seconds. We're gonna turn it on and there we go. Another handy thing we have is this quick tip information operation sticker, which is gonna help us understand how to work this refrigerator. And I'll probably have this on for a little while. It also has the information for customer service right here, which is great. And this sticker here is going to tell us that this refrigerator has been up ways, down ways, in ways, out ways, and needs to be in the upright position on a flat surface for at least 12 hours before we use it, which I did, so we're good with that. In the lower right-hand corner here, uh, it's not there yet, but there's going to be a lock that will appear because this display has a lock on it. And right now, it's open, so, so there it is. So it's locked. So what's gonna happen now is I am not gonna be able to change any of the settings. And that's a great thing, because if you accidentally hit these buttons and change the setting of your refrigerator, uh, that wouldn't be good for you. But now it's locked. But if I want to unlock that display, I'm gonna hold down the setting. It's gonna turn off. And now I'm going to be able to change the temperature of the refrigerator or do any other function. So let's talk about settings. So this has an eco setting, and it's, right now it's on eco low, if you can see that, but I'm gonna change that. Now it's on max, low. Okay, so max and eco, and if I hold it down again, it's going to change the setting from low to medium to high. So within max and within eco, you have three settings of low, medium, and high. 
I'm gonna change it to eco low. So it's on eco, now it's on high, and now I put it back on low. So I'm gonna keep it on eco low, and that's what I'll run it on. I live in Michigan, so they're moderate temperatures, and you really never know what you're gonna get. So right now, with this refrigerator on, let's go over here, and it's pulling 31 watts, it says at the moment. It'll fluctuate, there it goes, 32. But on the eco low setting, it says it will draw up to 45 watts, and on the max setting, it will draw up to 60 watts. But like I said, I'm just going to keep it on this setting here because I think that works well for me. Now the hotter uh, climate, the more the compressor is gonna run, which will pull more power from your power source. So that's just a given, we know that. So that's about that. Oh, there it went, it locked again. Let's look at that. There it is, it's locked. So overall, I'm pretty happy with this unit so far. So I'll be going on a little adventure this coming up week, and of course I'll bring my new Bouge RV 23 quart refrigerator. So happy about it, and I'll let you know how it performs. Anyhow, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope this video was helpful and valuable to you. Everything I learn, I like to share with you, and in turn, you can share with your friends. If you do like this video and you do find value in my channel, I would so appreciate if you would subscribe, hit the bell, and like this video, and share. Share with your friends, because that's what it's all about right we all like to know stuff at least i like to know stuff all right you guys you have a fabulous day i will catch you later until next time